Hello, 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 and welcome to another episode of Crazy Town Gaming. My name is Jonas. I'm your host, and I'm here with TNT Dynamite Explosive One. Jonas, you're the man on the sticks. I have them. And we're playing Madden 19, funny face. Yeah, the faces are the funniest here. Oh, yeah, we're the funniest faces Yeah, in that's town. why we're not on face cam. Ha <laughs> ha, get it? You don't want to see it. Oh, Jesus, no. <laughs> no. So, uh, we're playing that Madden 19 Austin Desperados franchise. Mm -hmm. As always, playing offense only and... Simming that D. Simulating the D. Using that balance playbook. So, uh, we're cruising along, man. We're just fucking we are cruising. Desperado weighing it all up in the Desperado Hell dome. yeah, Jonas. I love our team. I love them, too. I do. I, I have to admit, now that we've come back to them, I, I truly remember the fun we had in our inaugural episodes Oh, of I this. know, dude. Yeah. This is my favorite team by far, I think. <laughs> I like the one that we're on, too, when the subs are on. The, the alternate universe of the Golden Eagles. That one's kind of interesting, too. I do. Because we're actually on the team. I know. You could have put us on a Desperado, Jones. Eh, I don't want to mix. I don't want to mix universes. Man. That's true, man. We can't be universe hopping. Maybe after this uh, this season, we'll go back to the Golden Eagles for a season. No, I think we should do the Golden Eagles for a seasonal thing. Honestly, a seasonal. Just yeah, dude, it fit because we were like the Christmas elves, uh, dude. I kind of like them being. I know, dude. It's supposed to be like the Mexican flag colors, but we did we feel like elves. We have a guy that wants to be added to the team, man. We have a sub that wants to see him on the team. Oh, okay. What the fuck can do it, man? Yeah, fuck. man. You Bring that. Whoa, Swagger, what the hell? Cynthia Ruthen. We're going to have the new guy. <laughs> the new guy. <laughs> the new guy. Well, how many how many seasons of this do you want to do? Of the Desperatis? Um, One or two? Three? We've already four. done. This is our third season. I think maybe we should... Uh, I mean, we should definitely finish the third the, season. Okay, don't tell them. Don't tell them, man. I mean, Fine. we're on the third season right now. I, well, obviously. I meant how many more do you want oh, to do? Oh, um... But don't tell them. Let it be a surprise. Know. Let it be a surprise. Yeah, it's a surprise, guys. Keep watching. Figure it out. Yeah. Well, I mean, eventually, Madden 20 is going to come out, and we're going to have to start a brand new Desperados with all new players. Oh, my God. I hope they just let it so you can make your own team in that one. Jesus they Christ. Dude. It'd be awesome. Dude, they've been getting shit for that for the last three games or four games. You or used something. to be able to make your own team because yeah. I made, like, a fucking, like, random team, and you can put whoever you want on it. That's what I'm saying. Why would they even take that out? Because they, they don't want to do more work. They hate all their fans. That's like... Oh, Gary Harry, did he one-arm it with his left fucking paw? <laughs> he only has three fingers on that hand. Why? What happened to the other ones, Jonas? Well, that's a lie, but we can make up a story. He had a terrible... Him and Aragamonte's dad were out lumberjacking. Oh, my God, the thresher. <laughs> the thresher. It's always the thresher. <laughs> oh, he did. oh my God, dude! He sticky mitted it. <laughs> but like, honestly, man, can I have a game where I can design my own goddamn jerseys? Oh, that would be so cool. Like, why? Why is that not a thing? Well, yeah, you should be able to like go online, upload all your shit, make the design online, and then import it into. The oh game. my God, no! Then you just have people with dicks on their jerseys. Well, yeah, that's, that's, yeah. You know that's just. Well, you happen. can do that in like the wrestling game. You can you can upload your shit, make your own ring, and all sorts. You put your logo in the I, ring and all that. Yeah, yeah, I agree. It's convoluted, but I agree with having the ability, the ability to do yeah. so. Yeah. Yeah, they let you put your face in the game, and they make you look like a goddamn, like, tragedy victim <laughs> in it, dude. You're like, that doesn't look anything like me. <laughs> like, I didn't have a stroke on camera. Though. Yeah, I know, right? Dude, I remember this one time. I don't even remember what game it was, but I went over to our buddy's house, uh, our buddy Todd's house, and he was like, and he was like, dude, he's like, he was like, check this out. And I was like, okay, cool. And he's like, what's that look like? And I'm like, what do you mean? I'm like, he's like, what is that? What does it look like? And I'm like, what the fuck are you talking about, dude? And he's like, that's me, man. I put myself in the game. I'm like, that looks nothing like you, dude. I would have never in a million years guessed that that was you. Put that was the last thing I would have guessed. Game. It was like in a 360 game, you know. I mean, he passed away a long time God, ago. But yeah. like, <laughs> that facial recognition never worked, man. No, even on these on this next gen shit, it doesn't work. Like, boy, they couldn't even get to connect right, and they expected you to put your import your face into it. <laughs> I know, right? <laughs> Yeah. Jesus, man, I still have a connect. It's actually hooked up right yeah, now. Yeah, dude, those like the connect was a great idea in premise. Yeah. But 
Dude, it just didn't work. I honestly did not mind it for like changing channels or like uh, Xbox on in. I did like. Oh, really? Xbox. See, I never used it for those sort of things. I would always be like Xbox on. And it'd be like, boop, boop, boop. <laughs> and I'd be like, that's great. It's like your Alexa. Shh, don't say her name. <laughs> She's listening. <laughs> she is listening. <laughs> She she talks to me at night, Jonas. <laughs> <laughs> I don't even say her name, and she talks to me. <laughs> She's like TNT Dynamite. You're like, yes, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> she tells me to do bad things, Jonas. <laughs> I've hurt people. What did she tell you to do? I've hurt people. Oh, the cootie did it. I like ready it. for cootie to explode? I'm ready for Kiki to. I don't know this cootie person you're talking about unless you're talking about uh, Man on the Moon. What the fuck does that even mean? Uh, that was Kid um, Cudi's album. Oh, cootie. I get it. I get it. I, you said you... I was... <laughs> it was a really good one. No, it wasn't. It was so good that... Oh, what the F, dude? He pushed Ooh. Gary Harry. What He's in the shaking F? It. He's he kind of flexed on him a little he, bit. Uh, it looked like he was flapping more than flexing. Yeah, all right. <laughs> this is definitely a flap zone. This is just yeah, no you can flap all you, you want. You can flap all you want to. Do I like the Steelers. I'm not going to lie. I don't. I know this is blasphemous for a person from Cleveland Ooh, to like the Steelers. Let's see him. Oh! Oh, shit. I thought you had that. I tried to re-sign to see him. He said, I want more money. He, 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 is he going to have the fate of Sutton? Did you, uh, he wanted more money. Did he take your other offer that you offered him? I haven't offered him a second offer yet. Oh, you haven't? No, we only had one offer to him so far. How long do you have between it's offers? To the end of the season, or till he goes, oh, I'm just going to test the waters and see how I do. Oh, no, fucking teams. catch and release, bitch. Get out of here. If you want to dip, dip. Yeah, dude, that's what, that's oh, but what then Sutton you don't, did. Yeah, but then you can't trade him. Oh, yeah, I can. Yeah, if he, if he walks out on me, I can still... St right. He's like, no, nah, I'm going to test for agency, but I'm going to finish out the season, don't you worry? I said, oh, no, you're not. <laughs> Kicking your ass to the curb, bro. Who makes the most money on our team? Uh, Ergamonte? Well, not yet. See, so what's going to happen, and this is why I'm, the more seasons we play, this is going to come up. Ergamonte is going to need a new contract. Ellis is going to need a new contract. And Gary Harrier, and they're going to need paid. <clears throat> but... But that doesn't answer a question. <laughs> I don't know who's the most paid now because oh, okay. those guys are on their rookie contracts, which are low. So, like, because right now they're, they're still rookie contracts. Yeah, their rookie contracts are like three or four years. Really? So they make like a few million dollars. But then, like, when their contract's up, then they're ranked 90 something. So then they need to get paid like a top. So level. you have to play football for like five years until you're making some real bread. Three, four, yeah. Okay, like what's what's low end football rookie take in? Like, oh, I think the minimum salary for anyone is like seven hundred fifty thousand dollars or something. A year? Yeah. I mean, that's not bad. No, but, not at all. Right. all. So, but, who's the highest paid in the league? Probably Brady. Somebody like Tom Brady made like twenty million dollars a year. Twenty million dollars. He makes a more year. than a million dollars a game, basically. Yeah, something like that. Jesus. Some of the highest Clint paid players Caesar. make more than a million dollars a game. That's ridiculous. Yep. 60 minutes, they make a million dollars. That's crazy. Well, what they all, what they like to say is they get paid to train. They play the game yeah, for free. Yeah, yeah. You know what I mean? So it's yeah. like. And that's true because their training is intense. Oh, fuck. I mean, yeah, exactly. It's I mean, like they, daily. You know how much money, how much work. And that's why baseball players make, <clears throat> they play 28 days a month. They're playing baseball. Yeah, that's so it's crazy. Like, we got to fly this. <laughs> um, but no, but that's why they always say in football it's best to build through the draft because if you draft players that are good, you get them cheap for numerous years where you can sign other players and free agency for money. Yeah. So, but if you're always signing free agency, you never have any money to sign any other players. Okay, so give me like standard deviation. Give me the bell curve. Who who makes like what's what's the largest sum or sum range where most of the players are? I would say well, just it depends on the position because some position like skill positions which are like. Quarterback, running back, wide receiver, yeah. make and cornerback, like defensive, they make large money because you need a serious skill to be good at that. Where like okay. an offensive lineman, if you're big and, and strong, you can keep someone from the court. It's not as much of a skill position. Yeah, but what if you're like talented at your position though? Yeah. You that that comes into play, I guess. Huh? It does, yes. It's very much huh. like wide receiver. Even I would put it like this. An average wide receiver mm. makes probably more 
than your decent like offensive lineman because uh, their skill is so high. The skill ceiling is so high on it. Wow, okay. I didn't the skill know floor is so high, I guess would be the point. Yeah, okay, I see what you're saying. Skill floor is high. That yeah, makes sense yeah, too. yeah. You have to have a certain amount of skill to be yeah. in the league, period, where offensive linemen being big and strong you can learn footwork and technique, but if you if you aren't six foot six, three hundred pounds, yeah, that's true. it's not going to work. But that's a physical trait. Not but like, like running the routes and reading plays and reading when you need to change and right. actually catching the balls. Right. That's every a time. lot harder than being big. Huh? Yeah. So. I never thought of it like that, man. Yeah, dude, it's 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 fucked up. Yeah, and when you ball. like it to like Overwatch terms, I, it like makes a <laughs> lot know, of right? sense. You're like, oh, it's high skill floor. I get that. <laughs> yeah, I get it. Yellow. Yeah. yeah. Oh my god, we gotta bomb it, dude. Uh, yeah, we do. Yeah, it's third thirty-six. We got a couple sacks in a row. Yeah, so Tom Brady makes the most money in the somebody, league. I don't know if he him exactly, but somebody of his caliber, yes. <laughs> Quarterbacks definitely make the most money out of anyone. Kick! Oh, they fucking gave us the first. Oh, no, that was wonderful. I love it. Yeah, quarterbacks definitely make the most because they have the high. They have the highest skill floor out of anyone. <laughs> Running backs, they make good money, but. You know, it same sort of difference. Like they're interchangeable almost. So what about what about kickers? They make a couple. Depending if they're good and they have like like when it comes to kickers, it's all about range and accuracy. If you can kick the ball far and you can kick the ball through the fucking upright when you need to. Yeah, you can hit targets. They can make a couple million dollars. Okay. Yeah, um, dude, for sure. Right. Punters, do I think punters have the best gig in the world? They they do a one, one kick, yeah. kick, and they. But I mean, they don't make. Even I'm sure like the highest paid punter doesn't make more than a million or two dollars. Yeah, but, I could see that. But you only play a handful of plays a game. Like you don't even do anything else. Dude, that's I like, know. <laughs> You're only special long, teams. The long snapper, the guy who snaps the ball to the guy who kicks the field goal. Oh dude, my! They God. make like 700k a year, and they just like throw the ball between their legs to the guy. Yeah, but they they have to be ready in case some shit. Oh pops yeah, off, you gotta be, you gotta have skill, there's still, velocity on that. There's a lot of stuff with that. Dude, too. I'm looking up the highest paid punter because I'm, <laughs> I'm just curious how much he makes. I do. Yeah, I would be I'm curious. highest paid. Hunter. I know. Everybody's not getting a scoop. That's why we're laughing. Dude. And oh, my God. He just bowled him over. It's like he's going to goddamn strike fest. Holy shit. Jonas. Yeah. Who's the highest paid punter? Cole, Cole quit. Cole, Brandon Cole quit. Okay. Okay. Of the Broncos, he makes $3.9 million a year. All right. Well. Holy shit. I know, dude. You need to learn how to fucking punt, dude. He got a three-year, $11 million, $11.7 million and he's extension. he's good. He's definitely a good punter. Is he's, he? He's accurate, yeah. Okay. All right. Wow. That's pretty fucking deece, man. Yeah, dude. That's deece. Yeah. Look up the highest paid uh, quarterback. Okay. Yeah, that's actually a good one, too. I think it's like, I don't know who, it, it, you, I think Brady has restructured his contract to, to take less money so they could have more cap room a couple times. Mm -hmm. So he may not be the highest paid anymore. I think it may be like Andrew Luck or somebody like that. But It is, I think it's Aaron Rodgers. It changes all the time because as their deals come up, they always end up like, when a really good quarterback, then he becomes the highest paid. Then the next time, the next guy, who's, they always become, you know, because when they negotiate, they're like, well, I need to be the highest paid quarterback, blah, blah, blah. Matt Ryan? Oh, yeah, Matt Ryan's probably up there. That's true. I think it's Matt Ryan, but, it like, I'm also getting Aaron Rodgers. It's funny. I type in the highest paid punter, and it gives me, like, this. One guy. <laughs> yeah, it was just like, here you go. This is him. I type in quarterback, and it's, like, 3,000 different websites. Yeah. But I think, yeah, I think it may be Matt Ryan. I think you're the first man ever to type how, who's the highest paid punter. Oh, Smiley Riley got downfield a little bit. No, it just gave me like a slide that just said, this guy's the highest paid oh. fucking punter. I and then I asked quarterback, and it's like articles. I love when uh, they, they give you, the Google gives you that like synopsis of the article that tells you. That exactly was, what that was, that's what they gave me yeah, for the punter dude. one. Love it. <laughs> but I was like, damn it. All right, it's cool. Needs a scoop, man. I don't know, man. I need a scoop of that football money. I know. The fuck was my mom thinking? Not I know, dude. Me into that you know, shit. Concussions and fucking longevity. 
Dude, I wouldn't have, like, bad knees and shit right now if my mom had got me in the football. Maybe that, I don't know if that's true. Well, you, listen. You may have bad knees because your mom got yeah, you in Yeah, but I, my, wallet, my wallet wouldn't yeah, be suffering. Like, I, can make all, I can make all the new knees I want with exactly. all that football money. Kiki, he got the football. He didn't score, though. It's time for <laughs> halftime. There's Ellis. There's Roby. There's Hamilton. Roby? There's Garrison. He's our uh, cornerback. Is he, is he android or something? Is he a cyborg? No, he's not a cyborg. Well, the name like Roby. Yeah, I mean. Ooh. Do you remember Johnny Five? Yeah, from uh, Short Circuit. Those locals kick your balls into outer space. <laughs> oh, shit. I forgot. <laughs> oh, <laughs> Do you oh, my God, dude. I just fucking. I, like. I don't, but I do. Like when you said it, I had like a flashback, and then like I was like, I'm not even sure what he just said, but I feel like I know this. It was those locals kick your ass. Those locals kick your face. Those locals kick your balls into outer space. Were That's, they like the bad guys? I think that was Short Circuit too. Oh, that one got weird. Dude. <laughs> That's when he went to New York City and he was. <laughs> <laughs> he like went in and got into a gang. Yeah, he was in like oh, and he was all bleeding out and shit. <laughs> <laughs> he was like he was dying. I felt so bad for him, dude. That, you know what? Honestly, though, that was a good wholesome movie, though. Dude, man. Those were good wholesome movies. Dude, you know, why? Why does everyone go to New York in the second one? Home Alone two. He's in New York. Short what Circuit. He's in New York. <laughs> Die Hard two. He's in a plane flying over somewhere, probably New York. Yeah, dude. Scary. Fucking Harry. Snake Plissken escape from there. Dude, everybody's in New York. I hear they're remaking that movie too. Escape what? from New York. Really? Absolutely, man. They are absolutely doing it. That dude, all we do anymore in, in movies, popular they, cinema, is remakes anymore. Well, yeah, that's why all the movies suck. <laughs> oh my god, that son of a bitch. Jonas, you've been throwing a lot of picks lately. Dude, I have been. What's? Oh my, you're just gonna let him score? Yeah. You're just gonna let him score, huh? Wow, Jonas. That's the first one of those I've ever seen. Jonas, did they just flex? They, uh, they put up their dukes. <laughs> they put up their dukes? These sons of bitches, dude. Just wait until they remake Bloodsport, and then you're really going to be pissed. No, I'd be pissed if they remake Back to the Future. Ugh. I'd be Why pissed. do I feel like I feel like that's a thing? No, I think that the director won't let them remake it. It's like, I think it's part of... Like, oh, yeah, you were telling me about it's like, that. I think it's like, they won't... It will never be remade because, like, I think the director has blocked it from ever being remade. Or something like that. Yeah, I, I remember you telling me that. Yeah, it was something It was something along those lines. I remember, uh, also, I remember hearing they were going to remake White Men Can't Jump, and then I never heard anything else about it, thank God. Oh, yeah, I'm glad they, I'm glad they won't do that. Yeah, dude, that movie wouldn't fly. Now, everybody being all politically correct, holy shit. <laughs> can't make a white man can't jump anymore. You, you got the money, Billy? God, telling a white dude he looked like Cindy Brady. Fucking all sorts of shit like that. There was he, a lot did, of, he did look a little like Cindy Brady. He did look like <laughs> Cindy Brady. I don't know, but honestly, you say that all those movies suck, but I, I'm not going to lie, dude. You make a remake of a movie, I'm going out there to see that. Bitch. I don't see all I of do. them. You know what movie was a remake was good though? Evil Dead. That remake was pretty good. Oh fun. yeah. That See, was pretty good. That was dude. good. Yeah. What else, man? There's gotta be another good remake. Dude, out there. the end of that movie where she shoved the chainsaw down and it was like raining blood from the sky. It was just <laughs> oh dude, it was so fucking good. I was just like, that is awesome. <laughs> that was pretty good. I do like that movie. Yeah, it's a good movie, dude. Like, well the first one was like so old and cheesy, like it you know what I mean? The new one was like in the traditional style of horror movie. Talk about giving your team a little juice. I don't honestly remember the first one. <laughs> just, it was just cheesy. Dude. It was kind of cheesy. It, it, I mean, but it was intentionally done that way. Yeah, then they... Re well, the first... It was like... The first Evil Dead and Evil Dead 2 were the same movie. But the first one they made... The first one they made meaning for it to be... Campy. Sc scary. Oh, really? And everyone thought it was a comedy. Oh. So then they remade it. The second one is the same movie, but it's made to be funny. Yeah. It was something like that. Like, it was so bad. Everyone was like, oh, this is such a funny. And they're like, it's not supposed to be funny. <laughs> it's not supposed to be funny. Well, it is. Yeah, right? Sorry. Yeah. But that was the one, I think, where, like, no, that was... What movie is that? I don't know. A lot of those 80s horror movies were so fucking cheesy. And 
Uh, oh my god, dude, I can't do anything. How do you feel about Ocean's Eleven? <laughs> I love that movie. It's a remake. I fucking love it. Yeah, the original was trash. <laughs> <laughs> Not all remakes are bad, then. I'm just trying no, to discredit dude, your No, movies your stopped stance. being good in, like, 2004. Oh, okay. Well, maybe. I'll, I might say that. About then, it was all, all it's been is superhero movies and remakes. Um... <laughs> See, but the thing is that I don't have a problem with the superhero movie. Well, yeah, yeah, I absolutely yeah. No, I'm not love them. There's a problem with that because the superhero movies before 2004 were mm. fucking trash. Like, remember those old like Hulk movies and shit? Those things were terrible. Yes, those action movies. The Edward Norton Hulk movie, like. Oh, the Hulk movie. Oh, I thought you were talking about Hulk Hogan. No, <laughs> no, 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 no. Like when they made those comic book movies yeah, back in the day, yeah. they were really, really bad. Well, yeah, they were they were working. They were trying to figure out the formula. And then I think Spider Man was kind of like the thing. The Toby that did Maguire it. one, like yeah. yeah, that one really fucking yeah, he turned was, the corner. He was good in that movie. Yeah, I really like. I didn't. I really like the Spider. Like pretty much all the Spider Man movies, except the one in between the Toby Maguire and the one where he went back to Marvel. Like that one. Was okay, weird. I know which one you're talking. That about. one was bad. Yeah, and there was. Or maybe any, there was two. That guy who played it, the guy I don't remember his name. He was in like Star Wars two, I think. I heard that movie was good, but I never saw. It. I think that's Spider Man Seven or something. It, it was boring as hell. Did dude. you see Homecoming? Yeah, that was really good. That with, new Spider Man uh, is pretty good. With uh, Batman in it. I had a uh, Iron Man. No, Homecoming Spider Man movie that had. Uh, dude, we're ba- giving up the goddamn. Jonas. I can't help when he drops it, dude. Argamonte has been fumbling. Jonas. Oh no! That's all right. We took it back. Thank God, dude. I don't know what's going on. Why? Why we've been having so much trouble? Um, uh, because the hubris. I'm thinking. Ah, oh, the hubris. We need. We're gonna let you concentrate on the game. Talk about the game. We're not gonna talk about movies. All right. All right. Or cinema. Oh. Ooh. I can't do anything when he's fucking predating through the fucking. He just he teleported did. through all the men. He cloaked and got in your back line. Yeah, there's not much I can do when that's happening. <laughs> nope. <laughs> stuck with I man. got the ball and just bam, that was it. <laughs> you just stuck there with a man in your face. <laughs> <laughs> Average Thursday night. <laughs> Thursdays now too, huh? <laughs> Doing three a days. Oh, okay. You got some room here. Aim it. Oh, dude. Oh, you see there that? it is. That's Garrison Harrison. Of course that's fucking Gerald Harold. Gerald Harold. Jerry Harry. All right, there we go. We're making things happen. <laughs> fucking <now>. Jer Bear. Jer Bear. <laughs> Jer Bear. <laughs> God, I'm so glad my name ain't Jerry. Dude. Yeah. I, I think know. that's a bad name. Jonah's worst name. Um, what do you think it's the worst name? Oh uh, my god. Dude. He just jumped I all hate over the you. Steelers in this game. What? I played the Said Browns that about the last in my, team. In my Browns franchise. I played the Steelers. Yeah. And the same thing's happening. I can't. You can't do anything. They're just. They just make them really good. They're the cover team. Good. They should be good. No, they shouldn't. They should go to home. Um, he's on the cover. Yeah, dude. I'm sorry. Did you not realize that? Oh, butt just got in their face. Can't stop them. Unstoppable. Can only hope to contain him. Uh, <laughs> what's a, a really bad name? Mm, like men or women? Uh, let's go men first, and then we'll do women. Um, let's see, what's a really bad men's name? And I, I had one on my on my brain. And did you really? I, I, and then I like when shit started getting crazy, I forgot. <laughs> um, oh, Archie. Archie. That one's pretty bad, I think. Yeah. That wasn't the one I was thinking of, but that one's bad. Only because Archie is always short for Archibald. <laughs> Archibald. <laughs> and that is just, you, dude, you need to stop. Or Bartholomew. Oh, Like, God. that's too many syllables for yeah. a fucking, I'm not calling you that. And yeah. Bart just makes you sound uneducated. What? Bart. Bart. <laughs> yeah, you do. Bart just makes you sound Everybody uneducated. Everybody named Bart, you're just like, oh, there's Bart. <laughs> Those names are not popular anymore, thank God. Yeah, dude, fucking, uh, yeah, dude. Paul? Paul. You think about Paul? I mean, it's a normal name. Yeah, it's I'm not, not mad bad. at Paul. I don't like it when they try to give dudes, uh, girls' names, like Terry. <laughs> but Terry or Ashley. Dude, come on. Guys named Ashley? 
Yeah, Ashley is a universal name. Okay. I used to know a guy named Ashley, actually. You know, did you know a boy named Sue? No. I knew a dude named Lacey. A dude named Lacey? I swear to God. Jesus. Old I'm ma- to, if I've ever known a guy with like a obviously feminine name. <laughs> Lacey was the was the one was my trump card, man. Oh, their mothers are so sad to even call them their sons anymore. <laughs> Bring the whole team in for this one. Come bring, on, boys. Bring them in. What yeah. are we doing? Oh, we're going to do the food the dance. Around. This is what we do all the time. <laughs> the food mosh pit. Yeah, the food rain dance. He's bring just, all the food from the kids' plates. He's just stepping on sandwiches. and <laughs> <laughs> they, they brought all the food together, and they just destroy it. Dance on all, it. The, all the hungry kids uh, are watching, and they're just <laughs> trouncing it. He's just fucking showboating. Yeah, dude, they're just showboating about just, how much food they have. And that just we've... crushing all your food. I like that, Jonas. Yeah, dude, that's it. That's all that's it is. Good. They're like hungry kids. They bring it all in and tell them that they're going to eat it, and then they just break it in front of them. Break it? Yeah, they break it. <laughs> how do you break a sandwich? Yeah, exactly. <laughs> we figured it out, though. <laughs> Somehow. Yeah, we figured out how to break the sandwiches, you know. Okay, yeah, the score is looking a little bit more respectable, even though we're both high. <laughs> I'm not high. Quit putting drugs in my mouth. Jonas. <laughs> it's not a drug. That's my dick. <laughs> oh, I guess it's a drug to some. I've just been lying to you and telling you that it will give you superpowers. <laughs> <laughs> that's Man. <laughs> I'm you you've been rouged your whole life. You. I know. I'm sorry. Sorry. Right, I'm glad you broke it to me live on cam. Bro. Yeah. <laughs> You, you won't be able to fly from blowing me. <laughs> <laughs> much to the chagrin of many a woman. Damn it. That's what Mike Tomlin just said. God damn it. I didn't want to go home and tell my wife I lost. <laughs> <laughs> Son of a bitch. That was a good game. It was. We won. We did. Hell yeah. Is there any doubt? K Kona. K Kona? Yeah. Hell yeah, brother. Oh, yeah. What? It's Twitch lingo, Jonas. Oh, I gotcha. Well, that is all the time we have for today's episode. Yo. Please make sure to like, share, and subscribe. Do it. While you're at it, lie to your friends. Tell them that we're funny and they should watch us too. They should. It's definitely a lie. No, they should, though. For jo- they definitely should. For Jonas. Mm. For Tandy Dynamite. Mm-hmm. We are. Oh. Oh. And for Charles Davis.